welcome back my friends to update 6 for the touchscreen mini panel TMP. If you are new to this little gadget, you can review the earlier videos which paved the way to what we are talking about here. The links are at the end of this video. What is new this time? In a way, this one wraps up the development of the 7-inch dual pane upgrade. In this short video, we'll go through the new features, which basically are in two fronts. Continue the development of the user interface, and reactivating all the operations for X-Plane 11, which include the customization for the Cebo 737 and the Tolis Airbus. Let's start with the user interface. In the previous update, I mentioned a big limitation was that most of the pages can only be opened in either the left or the right pane. For example, the videos page was for the left pane only, and these control panel pages were for the right only. With the new code, there's more flexibility. Most pages can now be opened on either side. For example, you can now put the GPS page on the left or the right pane. This panel page can also appear on either side. The only limitation is for those pages that require larger screen areas, such as the customized pages for the jetliners and the situation page. They are available only from the left. And speaking of the situation page, there are just a couple of additions. The pair of engine gauges now includes a numeric percentage and the parking brake indicator doubles up to animate the application of the left and right braking. In last month's video, we have already gone through the Fight Sim 2020 features. And for those who are flying X-Plane 11, the mini panel is back in business. The profiles are the generic, Cebo Mod, and Tolis Airbus. You will find some small improvements here and there. For instance, with the increase in screen size, the autopilot page for the Cebo has added the rotary controls to the navigation display. And in the panel page, we are able to squeeze in the switches for the window heat alongside ice protection. So there you have it. All the features that used to be in the 4.3 inch versions have been restored, and then some more, with a little help from our larger 7-inch display. Finally, for the newcomers who may be thinking about building this mini panel, I have compiled this 16-page illustrated document for you. It covers topics such as the component list, which talks about how to select the parts, step-by-step -step instructions for loading the code, which shows you how to flash the microcontroller and the screen directly from binary files without needing to compile anything. Then it describes the method I used for putting the hardware together by the old-fashioned way, without 3D printing. Yes, this document is long overdue, but it's better late than never. That's about it for this update number 6. You can refer to the design notes and the revision history PDFs for more info. Thank you for watching. Be seeing you.